My last post we looked at um, how return on investment works for our sponsors and what our sponsors get out of being involved in with a team like Prepare Ocean Racing. Now we're going to look a little bit about what the sponsorship opportunities look like and how we build a sponsorship package that will fund a four-year round-the-world racing campaign. So one option for funding a campaign is just to find a total sponsor. Um, that's really hard though. It's a massive investment um, and not many teams just work with one sponsor. Most teams work in a similar way to us, which is to create a family of sponsors, which enables people to come in and choose a sponsorship package that reflects both their needs and their budget. Um, and the family of sponsors together build up enough funding to um, make a successful campaign. And that's the way that we work. So let's run through what our different packages look like and what they mean. Title sponsor. So the title sponsorship package is the largest available package. And with that package comes the right to name the boat while we're racing. So while we're racing, we're not pit pair ocean racing, but we are medallia. Um, and as the largest investor, then you'll see that the title sponsor gets the lion's share of all of that ROI. But it's important that there is room for other sponsors. So we need to leave room for branding space so that our other sponsors will get seen and will get prominence. And we still need to make sure we can offer attractive packages to the other sponsors that join. But effectively, the title sponsor has come in and made everything possible. So in a way, they're kind of eliminating some of the risk and encouraging other sponsors to join an already successful campaign. Podium sponsors. So this is how we refer to our other major sponsors. So they are the sponsors that get the big branding space on the sales and on the hull. Uh, we divide up our packages into gold, silver and bronze and according to what level of funding our sponsors invest with us they get an appropriate um, portion of the ROI. Official partners. The official partners are our entry level uh, for cash sponsors and you will see their logos on the bottom of the main sail and on the mast. Technical partners. Our technical partners are those that supply their kit and their equipment to the campaign. For example, I'm sitting on our high field Honda rib here and you'll notice that I wear Heli Hansen clothing. So they are two of our technical partners. They tend to offer benefit in kind um, and in return, we endorse their product by using it in some of the toughest conditions in the world. Official suppliers. Um, so official suppliers will give us a preferential rate um, and in exchange they get to say that they supply the campaign. Donors. Uh, our donors are those people that donate to the campaign because they want us to do well and they believe in the project and they don't ask for anything in return fans and followers. So our fans and followers are part of our sponsorship family as well because they support us too. Every click, every like, every share, every mention both in the virtual world and in reality helps tell our story. It makes us more attractive for prospective sponsors but it also amplifies the noise which is helping return on investment for our existing sponsors. So it all makes a difference. I think the important thing about this sponsorship framework is that when we all work together we can create something much bigger and something much better and so every single one of our sponsors every single one every one of those categories is important to us it's hard work because we have to make sure that we give a return on investment to all of those people and we need to make sure that we value the contribution that they have all made but together, we can diminish risk by working together. We can amplify the noise and we can definitely, definitely put together the best campaign possible for 2024 Vendée.